Most people know very little about John Charles Fremont. Even though he might arguably be the most important figure contributing to the abolition of slavery in the United States. Indeed, Abraham Lincoln might never have risen to such historical prominence had John Fremont not precipitated an environment that left Lincoln little choice but to formally end slavery. In terms of simple biography, John Charles Fremont's story begins inauspiciously, born January 21st, 1819, out of wedlock. But destiny had great plans for him. He married the daughter of Senator Thomas Hart Benton and became a major general. But before his military career, Fremont led expeditions on the Oregon Trail, Sierra Nevada, and was the first American to visit Lake Tahoe. In 1846, Fremont became the lieutenant colonel in the California Battalion in what became known as the Mexican-American War. Fremont led a military expedition around 300 men to capture Santa Barbara, California. Fremont also served as the governor of California and one of the first two senators from California. But Fremont's encounter with great destiny really began during his role as major general in the American Civil War, while he was the commander of the Army's Department of the West. During that term, he issued a proclamation of martial law in Missouri, which stated, All persons who shall be taken with arms in their hands shall be tried by court-martial, and if found guilty, will be shot. The property, real and personal, of all persons in the state of Missouri who shall take up arms against the United States is declared to be confiscated to their public use, and their slaves, if any they have, are hereby declared freemen. This proclamation was issued without any warning to Abraham Lincoln, and it predated Lincoln's own proclamation by more than a year. Lincoln even ordered Fremont to retract his proclamation, worrying that it might upset people in both the North and the South. Yet Fremont had ignited a long fire in the making that could not be extinguished. The great irony in Lincoln's great opposition to Fremont's fiery proclamation is that Lincoln would soon be forced to issue an almost identical declaration or suffer the complete disintegration of the United States. And history would remember little of Lincoln's wavering dance with accommodation and retreat that so profoundly marked his early tenure as president.